from Southern Country Living and today I'm making a low sugar um, party punch for our New Year's celebration along with several other snacks I'm going to do today and I hope that your weather is much better than ours is here. <laughs> it thunderstormed all yesterday evening and it's been raining all day today and we're supposed to still get more rain <laughs> for the rest of the evening. But anyway, uh, this punch is gonna be, I think, a good little party punch for Calvin, and it's gonna be low sugar too. So let me get started on this easy punch. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this crystal light fruit punch into two cups of cold water. I'm going to give this a good stir. And I can really smell the fruit punch. And it smells good. Okay, I've got that stirred up now. So I'm going to put it over to the side and move my pitcher over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is put my um, diet crayon pineapple juice in. It's at 64 ounce. So I'm going to put it in very carefully. <laughs> if you have a punch bowl, you can put it in your punch bowl or just a regular pitcher. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in my crystal light. And now my ginger ale. my spurtle and stir this up good. Okay, and uh, if you don't want this completely low calorie, you can just use regular diet pineapple juice in it. And um, you can use um, regular uh, Canada Dry, but this is our low um, sugar version. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it get cool. And now on to my next recipe. Okay, I've already made my punch now, so now I'm going to make my Cheddar Ranch Cheese Ball. So I'm going to put two things of cream cheese in here that has been at room temperature for several hours. Two packs or two bricks, however you want to say it. Okay, now then I'm going to put in my uh, ranch salad dressing mix. 
And I'm going to stir this up really good. I'm using one of my spurtles that one of our uh, viewers sent me. <laughs> I believe my uh, cream cheese could be just a little more, more at room temperature than what it is. <laughs> All right, get this mixed up really good before you add your other ingredients. So now then I'm going to add my um, cheese, my bacon bits, and my one-fourth cup of green onion. Mix this up really good. This is going to be the hardest part of this recipe, is mixing it up. <laughs> okay, I think that's mixed up pretty good now. So I'm going to form it into a ball. Sleeves. Okay, I'm going to move my bowl out of the way. All right, I have my cheese ball formed into a ball now, and so I'm going to wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for several hours. And I'm going to be serving mine with uh, crackers. Now on to my next recipe. Okay, my next recipe is going to be sausage balls. So I'm going to be using uh, Bisquick, um, cheddar cheese, hot sausage, and cream cheese. And all of uh, these ingredients will be in the description box below. The recipe will be. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Bisquick in. And I'll put my sausage in. Okay. And I'm going to put my cream cheese in. my cheese. I'll mix all this up. And if you have some grandchildren in, you might want to get them in on the deal. <laughs> All 
All right, I think I have this all mixed up. Okay, you can roll these in uh, balls or use a cookie scoop. Okay, I'm going to put these in the oven at 400 degrees for about 18 to 22 minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay. Uh, my recipe, it called for cooking them at 400 degrees for 18 to 22 minutes, and in my oven, uh, I cooked them at 350 for about 16 minutes, so just... Uh, Know your oven. Okay, my sausage balls are done and they turned out really good and they're not dry at all. That cream cheese in them just really made them real moist. And they were very delicious. Okay, I made these wedding cookies the other day, and we always have them on New Year's. Hi everyone, I'm back and I have uh, all of my appetizers plated up. I have my sausage balls over here and I've already tasted one of them and they really taste good. That cream cheese, a lot of people don't put cream cheese in their sausage balls, but in this recipe it called for it and it really makes them moist. And so uh, they're really good. And also I made my wedding cookies yesterday and this is something that our family always has on New Year's. We always have Hawaiian punch and wedding cookies. And so we have a hard time finding them around here. So uh, I made them last year because of that reason. And also I made them again this year. And um, this cheese ball over here, it was real easy to make. And uh, I've tasted it, it and it tastes really good too. And so we're, you can have just about any kind of cracker you want with it. But I'm using Ritz crackers today and celery. And you can have, cut up all different kinds of vegetables and eat with your cheese ball. And I've already tasted this punch and it was really delicious also. So um, me and Calvin just wish each and every one of our subscribers a happy new year. And we hope that we all have a better one next year. 
So y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Yes, I am on my way.